So earlier in the show, we featured Greater Bridgeport Community Enterprises, Citizen Bank's newest champion in action, and now Citizens is looking for a nonprofit in the arts and culture category to award $35,000. I'm back with Ned Handy, the president of Citizens Bank Connecticut, with all the details. Hello, Ned. Hello, Welcome back. Lisa. So, Great how does a nonprofit apply to be a champion in action? So, you can apply right online, um, and we'll we'll give you the website in, in a minute. But um, we are, yeah, looking for applicants for the second half of the year and, and arts and culture, which we think is um, a big part of the Connecticut economy. Sure. So, why not uh, why not look for an organization that's uh, active in arts and culture and and also is willing to sort of in their mission celebrate the diversity of Connecticut. Okay. Let's talk about uh, the criteria. So we are looking for a not-for-profit. So you got to be able to prove that you're a, a 501c3. Mm -hmm. um, budget under five million dollars. So we're looking to, to target this towards the smaller end of uh, not-for-profits. Not it's got to be uh, Connecticut-based and primarily service the Connecticut marketplace. And okay. uh, and you know the rest. We want to hear the story. Yeah. You want the, the human side of things, right? Right. The statistics are good. We want to know the, the impact that the organization has, but we really want to hear their story and what, what makes them special and how they impact lives and, and what their growth plans are. Because, you know, this is really aimed at bringing them to a new level. So sure. we want to know that they, they uh, strategically intend on growing. Very good. Now, Ned, I want to ask you, why is this program so important to Citizens Bank? You know, we completely believe that, uh, that we need to serve the communities in which we live and work, and, and uh, our strength is tied to the strength of the community. So it's part of our core belief system that uh, we should support not-for-profits that are doing great work and, and uh, celebrating things like diversity and, and, uh, and helping out and, and those who, who need it most. So. All right. And what's the deadline for the... March 8th. I got to right. get them in. Got to get Let's yep. put that info right on the screen. You can see that it's there. Uh, as we head into the kitchen, Ed, we're going to put up all that website. You can see it there. All applicants must be submitted by Friday, March 8th, as Ned just said, by 5 p.m. to be considered. Winners will be announced this July. We are back here in the kitchen with all of our guests. Now, Chef Hunter, how'd you finish these salads off? We're just finishing, grating some of that cheese on top of there. We're going to chop it with a little bit of truffles. Sounds great. Anything with truffles. I know you have a lot coming into the restaurant, right? We definitely do. So <laughs> come on down and see us. All right, Neil, on one more time, give us the date of the event and how to get tickets. It is March the 23rd, and it's going to be at our, if you come to our website, www.bushnell.org slash ovations, come and pick up your boarding pass so you can come to an event and be a jet setter on March the 23rd at the Bushnell. Sounds fantastic, and we're going to dig into this salad. Ned, great being partners with you. Teresa, it's always a pleasure.